Hey guys, and welcome to another League of Psychology video. For this video, I want to talk to you about anxiety, how it affects our bodies, and our gameplay in League of Legends. Anxiety is both a psychological and a physiological state. It can be characterized into four different components. Somatic, emotional, cognitive, and behavioral. Generally speaking, anxiety is a bad feeling of fear or concern, usually closely associated with rough times in someone's life. Anxiety is considered to be a normal reaction to stress, however, so it's not something that we can avoid. I just want to briefly list the different varieties of anxiety for your reference. If you have further questions about a specific type of anxiety, I can cover that in a later video. There are about seven different types of anxiety. These include existential, test and performance, stranger and social, generalized, trait, choice, and paradoxical anxiety. Let's talk about the different symptoms that can be associated with anxiety and the different repercussions that it can have on our gameplay. Physical effects can include fast heartbeat, muscle weakness, fatigue, nausea, chest pain, shortness of breath, or headaches. As you can imagine, any one of these symptoms could definitely affect our gaming experience. Specifically, if they cause you to have to leave your chair, as might be the case with nausea. Something that I talked about in the anger video is very similar in anxiety. Our body is preparing to deal with the threat, even if the threat isn't necessary, necessarily validated. Our fight or flight response is initiated even though we don't need it to be while we were playing League of Legends. For certain people, a continued amount of anxiety can actually lead to panic attacks, although they aren't necessarily common in most people. Some of the known emotional effects of anxiety include different feelings of dread, trouble concentrating, feeling tense or jumpy, irritability, and restlessness. These feelings, like the physical symptoms, can severely affect our game. Being able to concentrate and keep a cool head is what separates some of the good players from some of the bad players. You can't be trying to play League of Legends when you can't even concentrate on less hitting or map awareness. This is one of the main reasons why we tend to see amateur teams struggle when they go to LAN tournaments for the first time. Let's move on to some situations that can bring on anxiety. Note that these situations can happen both in an individual game and in what gamers like to call RL, IRL, or real life. So number one, you enter a situation that is new to you or brings you feelings of nervousness. This can vary from person to person depending on depending usually on your level of experience. A pro would not be nervous for some of the things that someone new to ranked might be nervous about. Some of these situations could include their first time to a LAN event, a first ranked match, a first tournament match, etc. In this particular situation, the only solution to this anxiety would be more and more exposure. You would obviously also have to have the ability to be able to not let past events hinder you. Rather, use faults as motivation to succeed. The second situation is also something that will happen to most of us in game. We make a mistake, we make the wrong call for our team, we get caught out and lose the game, etc. These type of situations can cause us a great deal of anxiety and stress. I will say the same thing about the situation as the previous one. You have to be able to understand what you did wrong and learn from a mistake rather than let it kick you and beat you up. The final situation that I want to specifically discuss does not happen in game. This is the anxiety that we build up from real life events, such as stress from work, family issues, health issues, etc. These things are usually out of our control, and these are the things that anxiety was meant for. If you find yourself in these particular situations, I would recommend avoiding ranked games, although sometimes our bodies just need an escape, and for some people, video games do that for them. So maybe a normal game with friends having fun would be the best remedy for you. If there's one thing that you do take away from this video, it's this. When we make mistakes in League of Legends, too often we find ourselves getting worked up over them and letting them hurt us because we stress about them game in and game out. We tend to have the ability, we need to have the ability to get over our mistakes and use them to make us better players. And if there's one more thing that I hope you get from this video, it's to treat your teammates better than you already are. Try to avoid giving them a hard time about mistakes because honestly, it's not going to help them learn. Positive reinforcement is the best alternative. Thanks for watching guys. If that last line wasn't enough of a hint, look forward to my next video on reinforcement, both positive and negative. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. That's all I got for you guys. Peace.